welcome. Yeah, this is Pilates with Kim today. I'm going to run and get everything else started with the uh, streaming elsewhere as well. And I'll be right back. So grab your mat, grab your water, grab a ball if you have one, um, and your paper plates and your weights if you want to use it. Okay, see you soon. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Again, my name is Kim, and this is Power Jam Dance Fitness's Matt Pilates class. Um, as you can see, my kids have been building a fort. If you're watching this like a year or two later, you might remember, oh yeah, we were in that stay-at-home order, so um, yeah, my kids built a fort in the living room. So anyway, <laughs> we're doing Pilates in a fort today. <laughs> Let's get started with our breathing exercises, remembering that breathing is really important. Um, it not only narrows the waist, because that's like what we were here for, right? But also makes your core stronger and increases, helps to uh, work on your lung capacity. So all of these things are very important and uh, we're gonna get started getting with it right away. I hope that you'll do these at home as well, uh, maybe five minutes in the morning. It probably really only takes about two or three minutes. So we're going to start up against the body. And just going to push yourself all the way up against your chest. Make sure you're not back here. You want to be all the way up so that the whole goal is that your abs don't have anywhere to go. And instead, the breath has to go into the lower lobes of your lungs. That's where you're going to find all of your power and lots of really good work happening there. So breathe in through your nose for five, hold it for five seconds, and exhale for five. Here we go. Inhale. Hold. Exhale through first lips. Breathe 
in through your nose. to increase it just a little bit. So let's inhale for six, hold for six, exhale for six. No, let's do seven. <laughs> okay, just in case anybody's superstitious. Here we go. Breathing in deeply. Push yourself all the way up against those knees. this last one, I want you, as you're doing your exhale, I want you to really think about narrowing the waist and feel everything drawing inward because that's the, that's what you want to happen as you're exercising, all right? So breathing in deeply through the nose into the lower lobes, the back. Try to get the, the breath to go into your back. Then you're holding and letting everything expand. And then as you exhale, try to feel your abdominal muscles drawing inward. Okay, here we go. Breathing in. to feel that expanding out through the lungs and lowering through. Okay, let's get going. We're going to do some half rollbacks. We're breathing in nice and tall. Remember, you're going to let that breath travel in through the back. Exhale, drawing back into your C curve if you're comfortable with that, or you can go to the flat and straight spine, either one, whatever is best for your body today. Breathe in nice and tall. Think of lifting like a zipper from the pelvic floor to the sternum, drawing back. Breathing in, heel holding here. Exhale, drawing up tall. Inhale to stay. Exhale through your first lips. Inhale to stay. Exhale, drop tall. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, draw back. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lifting up tall one more time like that. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, draw back. Good, inhale, stay. Exhale, come up tall, grab that ball, put it in between the knees. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, draw back. Give that ball a little squeeze, inhale. Exhale, come up tall. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, rounding through your C curve, behind the sits bones. Inhale, stay for a moment. Exhale, lift up tall, adding that rotation. Inhale, exhale, open the elbow. Inhale, up tall. Exhale, other side. Inhale, up. Exhale, draw back. Inhale, tall. Exhale, back. Breath in, we lift up. Exhale, draw back. Stay right here, inhale. Exhale, go a little further. Inhale, stay. Exhale, go a tiny bit further. Inhale, lift up tall. Do it again. Exhale, draw back. Inhale, stay. Exhale, go further. Inhale, stay. Exhale, go further. Breath in. Come up nice and tall. 
Good. Now we're going to make it just a little bit tougher, extending just one leg. Inhale, exhale, rolling back. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lift. Feel free to plant that down if you're feeling any pressure in the hip flexor. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, draw back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, draw back. Inhale, stay. Exhale, you lift one more time. Inhale, exhale, roll back. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lift, switch to that other side. Breath in, prepare. Exhale, draw back. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lift. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, rounding back. Stay for a moment. Lift tall one more time. Inhale, exhale, draw back. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lifting up. That should have helped to warm you up a little bit more. I'm gonna take that. Bring yourself down, getting ready for those ab corrects. But first, all I want you to do is relax through the pelvis. Remember that this position is so great. You can do this anytime you have a flat floor. This does not really work on your bed. Sorry. <laughs> I know you're like, can I just lay down and get a flat back? But no, you really need to be on a flat floor. You can have a little bit of a mat but if you are on too much of a cushion, it won't work. So really try to find a nice flat floor and allow the pelvis to get nice and heavy. So you want that whole pelvic bone, which is in the shape of a triangle. You've got that um, tailbone down at the bottom and your two hip bones right on the top, the ASIS. You want to just relax those there. See if you can find that nice flat triangle. So if you had a ball or a bowl of water, it would not roll either way. If you tucked your pelvis, it would roll. So your goal is to keep it flat. That is your neutral position, the strongest position for your body. So just breathe here. Get nice and heavy. For anybody who's had any pelvic instability and um, any other pelvic injuries or hip injuries, this tends to feel really good. Anybody who just had a baby, <laughs> that'll help you as well. You may still find though that if, you, if it hurts, you just want to take your hip bones and slide them upward towards your ribs and then you're going to be protected in that low back. So if that's what your body needs today, please feel free to go ahead and do that. Place that ball back in between the knees. Take those hands behind the head. You're in your neutral or your imprint, whichever one feels best to you. Breath in, prepare. Exhale, slide those hands forward. Give the ball a little squeeze. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, slide those hands forward. As you're doing that, really make sure those shoulders glide down and you feel the lats underneath you, almost like you're pushing those shoulder blades into the floor. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, forward. Squeeze the ball. Inhale, slight release. Now, if you'd like, you can take and bring that head up. It's up to you. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, slide forward. Good. Now, as you do this, I want you to think about flattening the low tummy with your exhale. Push it down there. We're working against the pooch, as Leanne tells us. Exhale, contracting those abs down. Inhale, remember the exhale will help you to achieve that. If you are not exhaling or you're just like, you won't, it's just gonna stay up. The strong exhale is what pulls it down. Inhale, reach away, exhale. That activates all those muscles. Breath in, one more time, exhale, curling forward. Stay for a moment. Now we're just going to pulse those arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. Now that's they're getting ready for your 100. Four, five, exhale. If you need to, you can support the head. But strong, straight arms, abs pulled down. Inhale, switch each side if you're holding your head up. And inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. That's just your warm up. Bring it up. Give yourself a little break for a second. Okay, so that's just you getting ready to use those arms, making sure they stay strong. Anytime those knees are folded towards you and you no longer have that 90 degree angle, your low abs stop working. They're so lazy. 
So bring them back out. Breath in, prepare. Exhale, slide those hands, head, and ribs forward. And we're pulsing those arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and squeeze that ball. Four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and squeeze it again. And pull farther forward. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, if you want, you can add. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, shh, 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 shh. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Lower if you want it harder. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, shh, shh. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, shh, 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 shh. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, shh, 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 shh. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, shh, shh, shh. One more set, two, three, four, five, exhale, shh, shh, shh. Hold it in, inhale, exhale, go further, shh. Inhale, exhale, go further, shh. Inhale, pull down, shh. Bring it in and breathe. You should be warmed up now. We're going right into some side leg. We're going to get those inner thighs activating a little bit more. So place that ball in between the legs and we're going to bring ourselves down onto our sides. Let's go ahead and line up those feet right with those hip bones. So we're in a nice straight line. Inhale, prepare, exhale, just squeeze the ball down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now feel like there's a tiny little hole underneath you. You're not going to have a real hole there, or maybe you do. Two more, exhale. But the goal is to feel like it's lifting. Hold that as you're pushing down on the ball. Give it a little lift. Inhale, exhale up. It's just a tiny little lift. Don't worry, we'll come back and make it harder later. And three. Two, and one, hold that up there. And I want you to stretch longer from the top of your head all the way through your toes. And give the ball a squeeze right here. And four, three, two, and one. Release that down. Let's do that all on the other side. It's just a quick side leg series. Nice and easy. Warming up, getting those obliques. Working a little bit more. If you can see in my picture, if your picture is larger than mine, but got my box. We're working on our bathroom. You know, uh, one of the faucets was leaking, so my husband likes to tell this story. So it started with one leaky faucet. So I said, let's change the faucets. Then I said, uh, let's change the pedestal sinks and let's paint the bathroom. So anyway, he's not that happy with me, <laughs> but. It does, it is starting to look nice. Inhale, prepare, and I want you just to squeeze the ball. Your legs are down on the ground. Again, just push that top leg down towards the bottom leg. Inhale, exhale. We're doing eight of these. Remember to use that exhale, and I want you to narrow in through the waist. Feel as if your oblique is lifting up off of the mat. One more, hold that there. Inhale, exhale, we're lifting those legs up just a couple of inches. Inhale, exhale. Now don't just let yourself sink down through there. Keep that lift. Inhale, exhale. Stretch through the back of your neck. And four, and three, and two. And it stays up on that last one. It holds right there. And you're going to squeeze the ball together, both legs. Inhale, exhale. Keep that lift. And four more. Keep drawing in. Low tummy pulling in. Last one. And release all the way down. Nice job. Okay. We're already here. Let's go ahead and take that ball. And we're bringing it forward. As you're sliding those hands forward, make sure that you don't lift those shoulders up with it. You're going to keep those shoulders down. So inhale, hands come forward as that ball passes right above the chest. You're going to lift up that head. And you can either stay or you can lift up higher. That sticky spot is where you need that exhale. Flex the toes, point and come all the way down. And exhale, trying to plant one vertebra at a time. Maybe we're gonna roll up. Remember that if you need to, you can always release the ball and take your hands and walk up your body. You have to use your exhale though. 
help yourself pull, pull, pull if you need to. If you're doing that without the ball, you can always put it in between the legs and that gives you assistance because it helps the inner thighs to connect a little bit more and anytime you have another muscle group working, it releases the abs just a little bit. So our goal is not to do that, but we have to get there first. Okay. Inhale, curling forward, shoulders stay down, nod the chin, exhale through. Look forward at that ball. Reach, we're gonna flex those toes right there. Point, and roll slowly back and down. Plant it down, one vertebra at a time. I can feel my right oblique leading the way, so on my next time down, I'm gonna focus on my left oblique. Inhale, exhale. Flex your toes and get a little stretch right there. Point. Now for me, I'm gonna focus on that left oblique. Let's do it a couple more times. Inhale, curling forward, exhale through. Flex your toes at the top, point, and slowly roll it down. And last time here, inhale. Flex right here. I want you to just stay for a moment. Get that little stretch. Good. Lift up tall right here. Open. Inhale, center. Exhale, open. Now, your toes are flexed, so you can see if one foot pulls back, I don't know if you can see that, but if one foot is pulling back, that means your hip flexors, your hips, are, your glutes are doing all the work. You want your abs and your obliques to do the work, so your legs just stay loose. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now try to get taller with each exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, only go as far as you're comfortable without the spine feeling like it's tearing or anything. You should never feel like you're getting that real tightness in through, the, through your rotation and you don't want to shear anything. Inhale here, point those toes, reach forward a little bit more for a little extra stretch right there. Bring yourself back up. Let's take that ball underneath the heel, the right heel. And we're gonna lay down. Inhale here, exhale, we're reaching that leg out. And our focus is on lengthening that leg without that roll back and forth on it. And it's going to do it because the body is not perfectly straight and symmetrical. Exhale, but our goal is to get it that way. Inhale, rolling up. Exhale, extending away. Inhale, exhale. If you feel better pointing your toes, that's fine. Flex it on the way in. And exhale, point away. One more time like this for holding this out. Give yourself a little bit of that curl forward. I'm going to stay right there. Really focusing on the low tummy. If you want your hands behind, go ahead. You're gonna take that opposite leg and lift that up. Now we're trying not to let that ball move. Down and up, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let's do three more here. One more, we're holding this up. Okay, flex and point. Inhale, exhale, flex, lengthen the leg. Almost like you're lifting the body a little bit further. Four, three, two, contract it. One more, hold that right there. Open just a little bit to the side. Tiny circles here. Don't let this hip move. Inhale, exhale. Reverse it. Four, three, two, and one. You should have felt the quad working a whole lot there. 
switch the ball to the opposite um, foot. Stretch the other leg out. Remember, you're starting with that heel on the ball. Inhale, prepare, and exhale, you're just going to roll it out. Point to the toe, flex it in, adjust as needed. I, I like it better towards the back, of the, um, the back of the ball, extending up. Give me more range of motion. Inhale, and exhale. Now remember, our goal is not to let it roll side to side. Keep it, knee pointing straight up toward the ceiling. Focus on that. Straight line. I know it's not really doing it, but it's okay. Exhale. We're focusing on the stability of the motion. Two more here. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Arms reach behind. Exhale, we're coming forward. Holding that right there. Really focus on the low tummy. So don't let everything expand up. I want you to pull downward. Hands are behind the head for support or they're down by the sides. Up to you. Whatever you did on the other side, try to do the same here. Okay, so you're going to lower and lift. We're going to try not to touch the floor. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. It's slow and controlled. Always. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Halfway. Three more. And two. Remember, contract here. Here's where you want to focus. One more. Hold that. We're just going to flex and point. Flex and point. Extend away. Flex, point, extend. Try to go a little bit higher. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And four. Three, two, one more. Take that out to the side just a little bit. It should be burning a little here. Now we're taking tiny circles without the left hip moving. Two, and one. Reverse and hold the back down. Four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee. Ooh, bring that down. Nice job. That should have been a lot of work. Okay. We're going to get into a little bit of back here. So place the ball in between the knees. You're going to be on all fours. Plant those hands down. Draw the shoulders back and down. Inhale. All I want you to do is go into your cat stretch first. So you're going to round through the tailbone, through the lumbar, through the thoracic. Lastly, hang the head. Reach the head away. Shoulders pull down. Release through the tailbone. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, rounding through the tailbone first. And the lumbar, then the thoracic. Finally, the head hangs down. Reach the head away. Inhale. Open the shoulders, keeping the abs slightly on. Let's go ahead and go all the way to extension just for a moment to release that back. Now come back to your neutral where you're nice and flat. Extension is where you've got that extra opening. You're opening through that chest. Okay, and now we want to be in a nice flat line. You're in your neutral pelvis here, in your neutral shoulders. Inhale here, tuck your toes underneath you. Bring those knees in nice and close. You're squeezing that ball. Nice wide fingertips like cat claws. Shoulders pull down, inhale, exhale. You're just gonna lift up. Stay there for a moment. Squeeze the ball. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale. Exhale, squeeze the ball. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze. Four. Three. Two. One more. Release the knees down. Come up, round it up, roll through those wrists to release for a moment. If um, this is probably mirrored, so you can't see what it says, a river cuts through rock. This is what my daughter uh, brought for us last week. 
A river cuts through rock, not because of its power, but because of its persistence. So your persistence in your work through your body, listening to your body, finding what it needs, giving it a little more and a little more and a little more and progressing through to make yourself stronger and stronger. That's what's gonna do it. Persistence is key, quality is key, okay? If you just do it once really hard, you're gonna get injured. So you just wanna make sure that you're listening to your body and walking yourself little by little, higher and higher to get better and better. Now we're going to take that a little bit further forward. So instead of those hands being right underneath the shoulders, they're gonna walk forward a couple of inches. I think I just got about four or five inches. But. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, you're gonna slide those shoulders forward. You're gonna feel yourself more in that modified plank position. Tuck your toes underneath you. Inhale and exhale, lift those knees up. Holding right there. Inhale, exhale. Now from here, all you're going to do is walk forward a little bit, try to extend to your full plank, and bring yourself back to your bent position, and walk those hands forward, extend fully, and walk back. Now last time I did a right first, left second, this time I'm going to go left first, left forward, right forward, left back, left back, left forward, right forward, left back, right back. Hold that right there, breathe in. Exhale, squeeze the ball. Three and four, walk forward. Right, left, squeeze the ball. Four, three, two, right hand back. Left hand back, hold, squeeze the ball. Four, three, two, left hand forward. Right, forward, squeeze the ball. Four, three, two, one, left back, right back, drop it down, round it up. Whew. I was cold when I started this because I think we're at 65 degrees today uh, for our high. So, the lovely thing about working hard is you get warmer. I hope you are all enjoying this. We have at least few where I am here in California, we're having a sunny day. Hopefully you guys are having a sunny day wherever you are at. Or if not, maybe you're getting a little bit of rain to help your garden. That's always good too. Okay, now, this time, actually I'm gonna take off my socks for this one. The ball is in between the ankles. It's almost like your heels are coming a little bit closer towards you, so your knees are a tiny bit apart. Fingertips are also going to point outwards, slightly out, okay? Got to be in a little bit of a frog position. So, shoulders are right underneath, I'm sorry, wrists are right underneath your shoulders, knees are kind of underneath your hips. Breath in, prepare, tuck your toes underneath you so that you can lift up. Exhale. Okay. Inhale, exhale. Now with this one, I want you to open your knees outwards. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. So it's like you're becoming a frog. Opening the legs. And three. As you're doing that, the heels are squeezing the ball. Bring that down. Good. Okay. We're gonna do that one more time. Feel free to point your toes. To release, tuck your toes underneath, and remember your toes are slightly wider, your heels are pulling in. So it's kind of like you're in that Pilates V. And as you're taking your knees, they're opening. So you're forming, you're getting that external rotation, wrapping from the ASIS, drawing around to the sacrum. That's your goal is drawing outward and open, but you're in a plank position while still getting your external rotators. Lots of fun. Or not. <laughs> Draw shoulders down. Inhale, prepare. I know Pilates instructors think things are fun. You guys at home are like, this is not fun. <laughs> Inhale, prepare. Exhale, zip that core up as you're lifting, lifting open. And here we go. Try to push the knees up towards the ceiling. With your exhale. At the same time, your abs are pulling up. And four. And three, it's a tiny motion, two, and 
and one. Bring that down, release, the ball, release through the feet and the hands. That's just a little froggy fun for you. Normally you're laying down, this time you're in a plank. exercises I like to do it. We're gonna bring ourselves back into that bridge. So feet are in wherever you feel comfortable and if you need to give it a little stretch out because you are in that sort of um, bent knee and ankle position feel free to stretch it out give yourself a little roll through the ankles and then when you're ready always when you're ready Bring your feet in wherever you're comfortable. And I'm going to keep my feet about hip bone distance apart. If you wanted to bring them in a little bit narrower, that would tend to work up here right over, over the knees. So if you have any knee issues, it does help to connect the legs and give your inner thighs a little bit more of assistance. So you're welcome to do that. I like to kind of stay in that neutral, um, neutral posture position. So inhale, prepare. I'm gonna go ahead and just lift straight up. And remember, we're only going to the shoulder blades and Pilates, that's what we do. If you need to walk your feet back, feel free. Or forward, just adjust as your body tells you to. Now, don't let yourself sink down here. We're gonna keep that lift and feel like there's energy going from your shoulder blades all the way out through your knees. Holding that position, making sure your glutes are working. If they're not, Say to yourself, poke them. <laughs> and then you're going to lift those arms up with those weights. We're going slightly overhead. I'm going to take the two together. And we're just going to bring it down towards the top of the head and press it up. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. So you're getting a little bit of tricep work. I don't have very heavy weights. I'm not at the Stewart Studio. They have better, they have heavier weights. All I have are my threes. So I'm just going to put them together and make a six. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And three. We're not going to be done. And two. We're just done with this particular one. Hold that right there. Take them in one hand. The other hand is holding right next to your side, but it's not touching it. It's there, right there. Okay. Just going to bend and extend. Now, if this is too much for you, you're going to plant that hand down or hold on here or take it back to two hands on the weights, but all of that is fine. I'm just giving you a little extra challenge. Now, as you go up, remember to wrap around the waist. Feel like you're squeezing the muscles inward. Four more. We're gonna do 12 on each side if you're counting. And two. One more. We're not moving. We're just going to take it in the other hand. Uh, my right hand is coming right next to my side. Again, it's not going to touch me. It's staying out, which is giving me extra challenge in the core. Bending at the elbow, so it's coming towards the top of the head. Pressing back up. Don't let the elbow go out to the side. That's more pectoral. I want you to work the tricep. So inhale, exhale, extend. Inhale, exhale. You feel your hips sinking down, push them back up. Use those glutes. I'm really enjoying my lights right now. If you've ever been to my house, uh, when I first bought it, it was so dark. <laughs> but my lovely friend Lindsay and Adam uh, from Wolf Electric came and fixed my uh, fixed all my lights, so now my house is nice and bright, which I love. Four more here. It doesn't feel so dreary. <laughs> so you guys get the benefit. You could actually see me before you never could have seen me if I was on video. That's it. Bring that back. Okay. You're still lifted. Now, tippy tippy toes, holding right there. Okay, we're just gonna do a little scissor here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. If your glutes need a break, go ahead and take one. 
but if not, you might as well let yourself have a challenge, right? This is slow because as you switch, you're going to feel the pelvis is going to try to move. Your torso is going to try to move side to side, but you're not going to let it. Inhale, exhale. The heavier these weights are, the harder it is to hold yourself still. Four more. And two. Last one. Bring that up. All right. Heels get to come down. Hips get to come down. Weights get to come down. Go ahead and bring yourself in. Take one leg over the other and get your little stretch there. That always feels so good. Switch to the other leg. Reach through, grab a hold of it. Whew. Rock that out. I'm gonna go ahead and just put my, my weights away so that I don't roll into them. Because that would not feel good. Okay, just for fun, you can grab that ball and I'm just looking. Hi, Holly, good to see you. Bring the uh, knees, right? Right in between the knees, get ready for that roll like a ball. Now bring yourself in, hold yourself in a C curve. Okay, if your body does not roll, remember that you can just lean back and forth. Roll it back if you're feeling comfortable. And you're just gonna take yourself back to your shoulder blades and back up. <sighs> Try to pause there. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> now, if you need to, just bring it down. It's okay. But your goal is to not come back up. You're gonna stay balanced without your toes touching. Here we go. At your own pace. <sighs> Inhale back. Exhale forward. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. <sighs> Now this feels really good for the lumbar. It just gives it a little bit of release. Ah, went too far. Inhale back, exhale forward. And one more time, inhale, exhale. Hold that right there. Take your hands underneath. Inhale, exhale, extend out. Inhale, if you want, you can grab a little higher always better if you are not grabbing on to pants that slide. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Extend. One more time. Hold it out there. And release. Good. Bring that down. All right. Your wrist should have had a little break. Ready for some paper plates. So, turn over onto those knees again. If you don't have any, you can also take a washcloth and bring that in. Kendall. Hi, Kendall. It's good to see you. Lots of love. Kendall, you never believe how big the kids are getting. This is the fort they built. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna place those hands underneath the shoulders. Your feet are up close to the mat because you're gonna be pushing it back. All right. So shoulders are down, breath in, exhale. You're coming up onto those tiptoes, holding that right there, knees are off, extending just the right first. And bring it back in, exhale the left. Inhale, exhale. Inhale in, exhale, extend. Inhale in, good, let's reciprocate. Switch. Inhale, exhale. Four, three, two, and one. Bring that down. Bring it up for a moment. Roll the wrists. We're gonna take those knees 
and go inward, kind of like we're crossing the body here. So, plant those hands down, nice wide cat claw fingertips. Roll those shoulders down. Always important, otherwise you're gonna get a lot of neck work and that's not gonna feel good. So keep those shoulders pulling down, activating the lats. Inhale, prepare. Exhale up onto those toes. We're gonna extend out to the side and draw the knee inward. Again, out to the side, draw the knee in. Extend out, knee in, extend out, knee in. Exhale on the out. And two, and one. Bring it down and breathe. shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale. Lift up on those toes. Extend the legs out and we open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And four. And three. And two. And one. Bring it in. And down. Breathe. Nice job. Okay, we're done with this. Um, put those away for a bit. We still have one more set of plank, but I'm going to give you a break for a sec. Let's get some more side knees in. We're coming up on that elbow. The knee is bent. You breathe, prepare. Don't sink down here. Lift up. Extend long through the back of the neck, the cervical vertebrae. Breathe in, prepare, exhale up onto that knee, extending that leg out. If you feel like you want to, take your hand behind or leave it here, or leave it here, whatever works for you. We're gonna lift that leg up. Here's four, three, two, flex the toe, continue, eight. And four, and three, and two, now we're taking that foot forward, flex, point back. Flex forward, point back. Flex forward, point back. Four, three, try not to move the torso, two. Last one, I'm reminding myself. Bring that down, give yourself a quick break before we go into a full side bend. So this time you're coming up onto that hand. Your feet are forming kind of like a diamond. So 
So you've got one bend here, the other bend on the top. The top foot is in front of the bottom foot. Give yourself plenty of room so you have, you have room to lift up and over into our side bend. Now you can do this either onto the knee, again, lift that breath in, exhale, up and over. Okay. If you wanna go into that full, you're gonna lift that bottom knee. You might need a little more room on that hand, a little more extension through the legs. Inhale, exhale, up and over. Okay, so you pick. Might be a little slippery, wipe it away. Inhale, prepare, shoulders down, lift the obliques, zip the core, strong exhale. Up and over. Inhale down, exhale up and over. Two more, inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, I'm hitting the fork, bring it away, the kids love it, I was going to have them take it down, they said, please mom, and I'm like, well, nobody really cares if I have a fork in my living room, right, we're just happy to be working out together. Okay, we're on that elbow to begin. Inhale, prepare, and then you're coming up onto that knee. So hand in front for support. Lift up when you're ready. Extend that leg. It's a pointed toe to begin. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Flex it. Four, three, two, flex the toe forward, point it back. <laughs> I'm hitting it. Inhale, exhale. Flex and point. Try not to move the torso. We're holding tight. You can always put your hand down. Two more. Last one. Break for a moment. Just leave your legs there so you have plenty of room. Lifting up. Take as much, take as much time as you need. As always, I mean, nobody's watching you. You're good. And even if I was watching you, I would want you to be paying attention to your body. Like right now, my shoulder is feeling a little tired, so I'm just like gonna sink into it and rest my head for a second. And then when I feel okay, that I'm strong enough to lift up and hold that position, I'm gonna do that. I've injured both of my shoulders, and so I know that if I push through something when I'm tired, I'll re-injure it. And then the next two weeks, I'll spend trying to get it back to where it was functioning before. So I always know that if I need that break, I'm taking it. So please do listen to your bodies and take your breaks when you need it to. I know there's that no pain, no gain, but guess what? Pain usually means you're gonna get injured. So that's your body telling you, hold on here, we're not quite ready for that. A little soreness is okay, a little bit of work is fine, but sharp pain, not okay. So make sure you take that time. Palm is up. Again, we're gonna lift up when you're ready. Feel that oblique coming up. Draw that shoulder down and back, ready to support you with the scapula. Inhale, exhale up onto the knee for your first one if you want. Get that little bend if you can, and if not, it's okay to stay straight. If you want that full one, inhale, plant that front foot in front. Exhale, shh, up and over. Inhale, coming back down. Exhaling up, shh. With that, each one, use your exhale, contract your abs. Shh. And one more time, inhale, prepare. Sliding, exhale. And releasing down and breathe. Good. Okay. Take yourself on your back for one little stretch here before I make you do that last paper plate plank, which is lots of fun. If you're just joining us, Kea gave us this quote a river cuts through rock not because of its power, but because of its persistence. And that totally applies to Pilates. 
of us really being persistent with our work to stay strong. Yay. Did you do a Zoom call? Yes, you did. You can mark it as turn, turning in. My daughter's just catching up on her work. Okay. You got that nice stretch. If you want, you can take your arm side to side and just relax. That should feel really good in the pectorals because they did a lot of work. All right. All right here, I just want to give you a little bit of that reach up. Now plant those shoulders back and down. Protraction, retraction. You want to retract your shoulder blades, lift up, exhale, down. Now see that feeling? That's where I want you to live. So when you're out walking around, I don't want you to be here. I want you to pull, and this is, this is for me. I'm telling myself, really. Exhale, pull those shoulder blades down, and that is where you have the highest functioning body, the, the, the best position for your torso to be the strongest. So try not to let yourself come forward. Pull those shoulders back and down, and that is where you want to be. So that was a nice little break for you, right? Before you have to go, so transition, roll up. Inhale, exhale through. Right, last one. Or not last exercise, almost last. But here come the planks. Step on it. Bring that down and walk out to wherever you feel comfortable, kind of like in your down dog, okay? Because this is where you're coming back to. You're going to extend those legs out to your plank. Exhale, shh, pull it underneath you. Reach it out and away. Exhale, shh. Join when you're ready. Inhale, exhale, shh. Inhale, exhale, shh. Two more. Shh. Use your abs to start it. Pull up, shh. And bring down. Good. All right. Now you can get rid of those. You're done with that. Last thing. Now I, uh, I don't like as much pressure on my wrists, so I'm just going to bring it up a little bit here. You're just going to bring yourself up into that crab sort of position. So hips are up, and we're bending the elbows, and push back up. Yes, tricep dip. Inhale, exhale. Two more here, but you won't be done. Last one, bring your feet in closer. Extend one leg out. Down and up, down and up, down and up. One more, hold it there, open the leg. Out and in, out and in. Two, one, plant it. Extend the other one, down and up. Bend the elbows, press it up. Three, two, one more. Hold it there, extend the leg out and in, out and in. Two, and one, plant it in. My body says it's done, because then shaky, shaky. I think we may have talked about that in this class. If you've been to my live classes, you know, we talk about the muscles being strong together here. They don't shake, okay? When your muscles are shaking, that means your muscles are trying to line up. They're like, they're like crazy kids on sugar. <laughs> that's what it's like. Kids' brains on sugar, that's what your muscles are doing when you're shaking. So, if you're shaking, my body said stop. You gotta bring it back down. Find a place where you're not shaking, you're strong, and that's where you wanna do your work, okay? So think about that as you're doing things. Again, that's the whole, we've been told all our lives, no pain, no gain, shake, come on, make it. You could do it, you're doing it. It's not actually true. It's not the quality. The quality of work is not there and that does not get you to the strongest position. So bring yourself up when you're ready. Let's stretch it out. Inhale, exhale, stretch that there. And bring yourself to a flat back. Whew. Relax. You should feel that in the hamstring. Feel free to bring it down further if you'd like. You'll feel the stretch travel closer towards your knee. Bend your knee right here and feel the stretch in your back calf and your Achilles tendon. Do 
the center. Other way. It's a little wider. I'm out of the frame. Exhale over. And bring yourself to a flat back. You're going to turn both toes pointing forward. Feel the stretch up here where the hamstring meets the glute. And then as you bring yourself down further, you feel the stretch travel down towards your knee. Feel free to place the hands down for support if you'd like. Or hang on to your leg. Walk those hands up. Bend your front knee and let your back heel sink down to stretch that calf. Mine doesn't go all the way back down. Bring it back to the center and let's hang down for a moment. Hang out there and just breathe. Feel free to soften your knees and kind of swing gently side to side. Through the torso, releasing the obliques. And hi, Ronnie. Good to see you. Bring that down. Feel free to bend your knees and let's take those knees apart. Get a little more of kind of your yoga squat inner thigh position. If you want to go all the way down to your yoga squat, bring your feet in a little closer. My heels don't go all the way down to the floor unless I go wider. But and then you can push your knees apart there as well. If you prefer your yoga squat, squat. Squat. <sighs> I'm watching too many shows on TV. Plant, bring yourself up. Turn your toes forward, soft knees here, hands on the thighs. Now I really want you to roll up one vertebra at a time. So connect to your lower abdominals, let yourself lead the way with your abs slowly, 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 rolling up. It should feel great. Anybody else hearing thunder? Okay, let's do that one more time that we're standing here. Rolling down. This time your heels are right underneath your hip bones. Hang down right here. Circle through the hands. You're just releasing through the shoulder rotators. Reverse that circle. Like you're tracing a saucer or a salad plate on the floor. <sighs> Connect to your lower abdominals. Slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. That should feel wonderful. Shoulders roll back and down. Give yourself a little roll. Let me come down just so you can see me. Rolling around. You don't have to go to your knees. Making sure that as you roll that head to the back, you're stretching cervical vertebrae so you're not getting all that pop, 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 pop. Breathe in, take deep breath in. Exhale it out. Round through the back one more time. And then this time, open, focus on the open. Really stretch out through the clavicle, the collarbones. Connect to your abs here. Breath in. And exhale, lift up. Inhale. And open it out and away, and we are done for today. So thank you so much for coming. If you guys have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in below in the comments. We'd love to hear from you of anything more that you're wanting, or um, just even say hi. All right. So good to see you all, and we'll see you not next week. Next week is Memorial Day. Um, I won't be here. I'm not sure what we're doing, but I, I won't be here for Pilates. We will still have other things going on probably in the morning. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. What day is it? It's Monday. Tomorrow's Power Jam. See you at 4.30.